All right, good day to you. Today I'm gonna go over with modeling quadratics, particularly with finding the uh, involvement of area, particularly with re rectangle. What do we know about rectangle? There's a length and there's a width. In order for you to find the area of rectangle, you have to multiply the length and the width. But before we go there, if you can see here, if you, uh, please make sure that you get the right code for each class. This is the third period and this is the second period code for Desmos. Okay, I'm going to go over with it. Maybe not all, but please try to make sure that, you know, you pay attention here. Okay. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and let's use one. All right, here. So here, modeling area problem. For the most part, the area length times width is the one that we're going to use for rectangle. Okay, we multiply the sides in order for us to find the area of a quadrilateral or a, a rectangle, like we're saying. <clears throat> so first, a rectangle with a width of 5x plus 2 feet and a length of 2x minus 1 feet has an area of 100 uh, square feet. So what we need to do here, we need to type in y is equal to, oh, what is the, the meaning of this one here? We have a rectangle here. This is the length and this is the width. The length here, according to the problem, is 2x minus 1. And the width here is 5x plus 2. The, as we continue the problem, the area is 100. So this is 100. So we say if I multiply the length and the width, length times width, the answer should be 100. 100 is equal to, what's the length? According here is 2x minus 1, and the width is 5x plus 2. So what we need to do, we plug in the 100 right there. y is equal to 100 here. And this portion here goes on the next column or row over there, which is 2x minus 1 and 5x plus 2. Let's graph it. Let's see what will happen. Let me erase it. So type in y is equal to 100. Okay, you can see, you cannot see the graph yet, but you will later on. Uh, 2x minus 1 and 5x plus 2. All right, you see the graph there, but you're going to see the entire one. You probably need to minimize it. Okay, there you go. I need only the positive values of x here, which is this one here. You don't need this negative 3.14 because we only need the positive, okay? So I need to remove that one. And over here, I will copy it down to make sure. I need the ne uh, nearest 10, so one decimal place is good. So 3.2, I'll type in 3.2 comma 100, okay? Now, as we answer the question here, what is the positive value of x? So the answer there will be, going back here, what's the positive value of x here? 3.2, right? Based over here. So here is going to be 3.2, okay? Next, what are the length and the width here? So going back, so since we know that the rectangle is like 2x minus 1 here and 5x plus 2, since, according to our answer, the value of x is 3.2, we will plug in 3.2 right there and right there. That gives us 2 times 3.2 minus 1. And what's the answer? Using our calculator here, uh, so 2 times 3.2 minus 1, that gives you 5.4 feet. Don't forget the unit. And this one here is 5 times 3.2. Uh, plus 2 will give me 18 feet. You get it? So in other words, we just have to plug in, you know. So the answer here, what are the dimension or what are the length? The answer will be um, 5.4 feet by 18 feet. If you want to be very specific, so what is the length? I think I need to go back. The length here is... Oh, go back. The length is a 2x minus 1, so therefore the length is 5.4 feet and the width is uh, 18 feet here. 
get it? <coughs> That's kind of easy, right? Let's move on here. Um, let's just skip that. All right, this one is the same as the question number one. So let me go over to the next problem. There you go. Um, a rectangular plot has a width of, so the W there is five, the W is five seven of the length. This is the meaning of five seven of the length. Okay, so if the W here is five over seven of the length, what do you know about the length? So the length remains as the length. Since we don't have an L for the decimals, we're just gonna use X here. So I'm gonna substitute this with X, and this is the X, okay? So the length means X there. <coughs> so what's the area? The area is to be 140 square, 140 square inches. Okay, so we know that area is length times width. So this will be 140 is equal to the length. The length there is x. The width there is <clears throat> 5 over 7 to the x. Okay, very simple. So like what we did in the previous example, the y here will be defined as to be or as 140. And this portion here will go to the next call or row here. So what are we going to have here? So let's put it on. There are decimals. So we're going to have here y is equal to 140. Go to the next one. We don't need a y here. Just type in x and 5 divided by 7. Move to the right side. Make sure that the x is not on the bottom, but it's right here or beside the 5, and that's good. We need to find the intersection here. I cannot see it right now, but we need to zoom it out. There you go. If you see it, click the right side, the positive value of X, and that's what we needed, 14 and 140. That's what I see there. So I'm going to type in here 14 and what are we going to 140. That's the answer for the intersection of the two equations. So let's go here. What's the value of X? The answer is 14. Uh, what are the dimensions? So going back here. So our graph, uh, <coughs> so x here is equal to 14, so therefore the length is 14 inches. And here you plug in the 14 here, 5, 7 times 14, we use the calculator, 5 by 7 times 14, we give you 10 inches. So therefore, the answer would be, let's go to the next one here. There you go. Uh, 10 inches by 14 inches. There you have it. And submit it to me. All right? Next. The length of a rectangle is four less than twice the width. So, therefore, this is uh, a length. A rectangle is means equal sign for less than the dan tells you to switch them around, so it has to be twice the width minus four. Okay, uh, so you draw it. Let's say this is the length. This is two w minus four. So what do you know about the width? The width is remain as the width. Since we don't have a w that defined yet, it's easy for me to write x here and x over there. So therefore, the area is to give it to be 70. So area is length times width. So 70 is equal to, what's the L? L is 2x minus 4. And W there is going to be x still. Okay? So we put here y is equal to 70. And we put here the quantity 2x minus 4 and x right there. So we'll put it on. Here, this gives us y is equal to 70, and put the quantity over there, okay? Running out of time, have a good day, kaboom!